In this presentation, I'm going to talk to you about a technique known as the butterfly technique and it's mainly for the ribs. Before we actually go on to the technique, what I normally do, I normally do like a little soft tissue motion first um, with some mobilizations. And what I mean by that is I typically place my hand onto the lower back and I use a rocking type of motion. And so this hand you can see is doing and then this hand will be feeling and I can feel the spinous processes. And I can work down as far as I feel is appropriate along here. And then as you're doing that, you can almost ascertain whether one vertebra is moving or not in comparison to the other vertebra. And then this in itself is quite a nice relaxation technique. It's preparing the patient and also preparing you yourself for the follow-on techniques. From here, rather than just using a rocking, I tend to use my, my eminence here, my phenon and hyperphena, and I use my healer hand and I'm just rocking on the muscles away from the spine. So I'm just rocking back and forth and I can work up. Okay, and again I can go as far as I feel is appropriate for the technique. And I can work back down again. And then from there I typically will walk around and do the same on the other side. So some rocking and some soft tissue work on the opposite side. This hand can still feel as I do these from there. Some people will use both heels and they can work through and that's okay to do that as well. So you would sort of like choice what you would do. Now, one of my favorite techniques, not just for the ribs, will be that if I place my hand on the anterior component here, so near the ASIS, are you okay about my hand there? So get permission first, don't automatically expect you can do that and use it and just slowly pull them to you so you can just feel they are rotating to you. And as you do that technique, you can use this hand and slowly come on to say to the lower rib area and the pressure directed towards the axilla. So as I'm slowly pulling, I'm slowly pushing. Okay, so it's almost like a, a mobilizing for not just the ribs, but for the lumbar spine, but of the pelvis, and as I come up higher, I'm naturally going to be pulling further to rotate. Okay, so I'm rotating more and my pressure is coming over. Where I put my pressure is more on the angle of a rib. Okay, so if you know the anatomy, the hand is going to come more to the angles. Now, I would normally use a breath in the patient, so I normally say to my patient, take a deep breath in, Bell. And as they breathe out, I normally breathe out. And as they breathe out, I'm pulling, I'm pushing, and I'm mobilizing through. Okay, so I can mobilize through each of the rib as I'm breathing out and they are breathing out from there. If you want to, you can perform like a slight thrust. So the technique is similar. So I'm just going to do a, a gentle thrust technique. So take a breath in, please. And as he breathes out, I will normally pull on the out breath, spring, 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 and I can literally thrust through. I'm not going to use enough pressure because he is actually my model for today. So I'm going to use enough pressure to demonstrate the technique and to explain the thrust without physically going through it too much because we are using uh, my patient a few times today. So anyway, back to the next technique, which is known as the butterfly springing. So where the spinous processes are located, place your hands either side of the spine, okay, but more towards the angles like this. You can have a choice. Have your hands go this way or this way. Hands are spread out. Okay, so from here, and I'm going to say to my patient, take a breath in, please. And as he breathes out, I rotate my hands on his tissues, and I'm slowly springing towards the couch. If you're not sure how much to use in terms of pressure, if you, say, use a massage couch like this, and then you push on the couch, you push on it, where you feel the wood, let's say, so where you can spring, where you feel the wood from the base, is probably about the right depth of how much you would push. Always do it on the out breath, okay? So the patient takes a breath in, and as I breathe out, I rotate, and I'm spring, 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 and I move a little bit lower. As he's breathing out, spring, spring, spring. Obviously, there's no 
ribs in the lumbar so you can go as far. You can work lower but remember there's only more soft tissue here. And you can work a little bit higher in there. So take a breath in again. Rotate one way, spring, and if I do a thrust from there it's a continuation down. Okay, but always do it on the out breath. Let me just recap in that middle part. Let's change my hand position and take a breath in. Rotate, breathe out, rotate, rotate, spring, spring, spring. Then you can do a thrust going directly through. So there's a few variations there, but if you're gonna do the technique, I suggest you do the soft tissue technique first. You mobilize the lumbar, as in like lifting, mobilizing through, and that's preparing the patient for what's to come. Okay, so there we have a butterfly spring technique with a few variations. And thank you for watching.